And I have not seen him at an offline tournament yet. I don't know if this is his first one back, but Snake Rob. Um. What are your thoughts on this matchup? I, I can't speak to it. <laughs> I mean, what. canonically, doesn't Snake win? Canonically? Doesn't, like, doesn't Snake fight Max in his home game? He does fight Max. So you're saying this is like a Metal Gear and he has to yeah. fight? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so it's an unwinnable matchup for Rob. Basically, yes. But in, in reality, this is actually worth noting. Uh, Charles has a very good Snake, so he's going to know about disadvantage. And honestly... I feel like that damage came out of nowhere. I feel like he kept him in the air for a while, and then he backered him, and he just died. And he was like 130. Yeah. I don't even know where that came from. And, you know, Rob is not a character that honestly has a crazy high damage output. I mean, it, it, he just hits you multiple times. He does hit you a lot. Yeah. He doesn't have, like, you know, each move does, like, 13 14%. Yeah, his top combos do a lot. But other than that, he's really hitting you with, like, a lot of stray hits for the most part. Yeah. Ooh. C4. Yeah, we will also be giving you regular uh, PSA updates on the location of the C4. <laughs> uh, right now, it's nowhere. Yeah, it's nowhere. It's nowhere. Okay. <laughs> so There's no chance for it. One of the things that you saw before there was he popped him up, he actually got hit by his own grenade, and then he lasered because he knew he was going to pull another grenade. And Snake got hit by the laser and the grenade, which is like 22 damage, and then he got popped more up. It's like so, so good for Rob. Yeah. I love oh. that. I love that. Even though it didn't work. Excellent pressure on, on, on these shields. I mean, also the sort of thing where you went for that double jump up there, trying to catch a jump, right? right? And that means that next time around, Wraith is not going to be jumping. True. In that, so it, there now you have even odd in, in, in shields, or you know he's going to try to roll or do something like that. Oh, I, I like that. Yeah. All right, the C4 is on that platform right there. What? Gyro, okay. Man. You know, one of the other things that Charles is doing right now is, like, when he gets a grab, he's not going for, like, up throw fair. He's going for, like, up throw and then, like, wait and air. Because he's like, pull a grenade, I dare you. I will do so much to you and you won't, you know, I won't get, I, I won't get hit by it. Now, okay, something worth noting is that, for the most part, Wraith has been getting off the ledge really easily. He has. Except Charles has totally changed up his game plan then. Instead, it's the juggles. Okay. Instead, it's going yeah. off stage and yeah. actually hitting him. Yeah. Normally, Rob loves having his opponents at the ledge. They do. He's able That's to true. gyro and cover options, and it's, it's great for them. Yeah. But it was proven. I don't even think he even, Wraith even proved it. I think Charles just knew. Yes. You know, playing, being a snake player, knew that if Snake could just get off the ledge in this matchup. So I'm not even going to try to do that. Instead, I'm just going to wait for him to go high yeah. and then juggle him with up airs, just catch his landing with neutral air, and then eventually, I mean, that game was so decisive. It was very decisive. It I, wasn't close. I, I wonder what adjustments need to be made. I am blown away we are on MP. I cannot I think those... Dude, I mean, the platforms, it felt like they were helping out Charles a lot. Fair, but I you know what? I feel like you, you, you said it very well. He wasn't going for edge shafts, he was going for juggles. The whole thing was, the whole game was juggles. But he was also sharking underneath the platforms. True. So but it could be that he's hoping to land, ironically enough, land easier on FD. Interesting. You know, like if he drops a C4, then the C4 will you know, yeah. plummet all the way to the ground. I'm but not saying that I disagree. I'm just saying that I'm very interested to see that like FD is the stage where you think you're going to land better. You know? like, he has top stuff. The item control right now, and the gyro is still yeah. falling. Both of them play Snake, and even if they didn't, Rob has the top. They both know how to use items. Excellent job. A lot of snakes will like jump over you, threaten the bear, and then the land and either grab you or the land turn around up tilt. He was like, you're not going to do anything. I'm calling your bluff and I'm going to alpha match it, and it works. And that Nikita ties things back up there. Oh, the timing of that grenade was yeah. so good. It was. That's like, to, to have the presence of mind to know the exact moment the grenade is going to explode, to have a hitbox while doing that. He, he knew which part of his combo wasn't true. He was like, I know this this nair in, into fair, into down tilt is true, but the next one's not going to be. But he's going to pull a grenade, and he knew when to stop. Very, very smart stuff. And at this point, once again, trapped at the ledge. Wraith is trying to land for the millionth of time. Yeah. I mean, this game is going better than the last one, but it feels like ever since that first stop, Charles is once again doing exactly what he did last time in order to secure himself a victory. Yeah, but this time, though, I think you're actually completely right. I think on, on FD, he's landing easier. 
he's able to just like do a B reverse, a mix up, and then land with like whatever you want, whether it be an aerial or an air dodge, and that's it. He has to, he has to guess right on that exact, on that one interaction, as opposed to on a stage of platforms where he has to guess right twice. Oh man, right now Charles knows that Wraith is scared and he's trying to find creative ways to pressure him. Now at 150%. 150, yeah, grabs Wraith. killing you now. Oh, oh he falls out of okay. the up air, SDI! I'm going to say. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's, I, Whatever you say. Yeah, I'll put her for you. Definitely. Yeah. And man, once Rob's... Well, okay, the, the thing is that Rob's grab range is really bad. It's terrible. But yeah. at the same time, once he has access to a kill throw, it, so much scarier. Yeah, and Rob also has a lot of really good moves on shield, like his infamous down tilt more than just there. That hit him from so far away. I think he jabbed. I think he extended his jab. Yeah, I, jab. I'm pretty sure he jabbed. Um, oh, he's dead. No, it's just dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's just dead. He did, he did, I think he upbeat. I mean, he could have waited and then upbeat him. I think he lost the jump. I mean, in that situation, I mean, excuse, <laughs> excuse me. Would he have been able to cancel it with an air dodge and see forward himself before he hit the blast zone? Perhaps. 